In this video, you will learn to use VLC Media Player on a PC to batch convert audio files as well as extract the audio from video files. Here we are in the play window of VLC Media Player, though this whole process can also be undertaken in the playlist window. To start with, I'll go to Media, Open Multiple Files. As you can see here, we can simply press Ctrl, Shift, and O. This opens the Open Media dialog box. From here, we have a couple of options for opening multiple files. We could either highlight the files in the Windows Explorer and drag them into the File Selections area of the dialog box, or press the Add button, navigate to your files, select them, and then click Open. If we simply press Play here, the files that we've selected will begin to play in the player. Notice also that I have a mix of videos and audio in the queue to play. If I skip ahead, the player switches between video files and audio files. I'll stop the playback and reopen the Open Media dialog box by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and O. Notice how the files I selected are still listed and ready to go. This time though, I'm not going to play the files, I'm going to click the down arrow next to the word play in the play button and select convert. As you can see here in the convert dialog box, VLC already has listed that the source for our conversion is the selected multiple files. In the settings area, we have the option to select or create a new profile. A profile is essentially instructions for the conversion, as in which file type you want to convert the files to. If you click on the little wrench, you can edit the currently selected profile. There are different settings here for encapsulation, the video and audio codecs, and some work can be done on subtitles. For the purposes of this tutorial though, I'm just going to cancel out and stick with the default MP3 profile. I don't need to display the output or to deinterlace, so I'll leave those unchecked. I'm going to select Append converted to file name so we have a clear view of the outcome. Then I'll hit Start, and as you can see, VLC looks as if it's quickly playing through all the files. If we look at the folder in which we're working, we see that the MP3 files are being added as VLC converts them. Notice the MP4 files are being converted to MP3 files, making this a great way to extract audio from one or more video files as well. VLC is essentially making a recording of the current file in the new format. There are, therefore, certain things to consider when making the conversions. For instance, if I press repeat a couple of times, the player is set to repeat once. I'll delete all of the MP3 files and try and do the conversion again. Watch what happens. VLC plays through one file and then throws an error saying that the file already exists. If we look at the files in our folder, we see that there is one MP3 file. VLC will continue to try to convert the first file in the list repeatedly until we press stop. This same problem can occur if repeat all is active. VLC will cycle through the files, return to the first file, then complain that the converted file already exists. Notes like this are designed to jog memories, which can lead to a lack of detail. In particular, this video focused on converting both audio and video into audio files and didn't go into bulk changes for video files. If the superficiality of our coverage of this topic leaves you with questions, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.